So we're at Bismo Beach, guys. We're gonna explore San Luis Obispo for the next couple days. I heard this is a home of the clam. Yes. Clam. Many years ago, um, <laughs> they used. Yes. I forgot. Oh, I, like I googled it, right? And then they said that way back in like probably the 50s or 70s that this whole area. Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach mm. is known for their clams. Like people will go like fish for clam. The size of it will be like hella big or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now there's not a lot. And I guess it's like a decrease in, in um, clams, and you can't really like pick them up one because apparently it's illegal but today we're gonna go and try clam chowder at the famous splash cafe yes. uh -huh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go it's that way let's go. see you guys So this is a fully loaded bread bowl. So it has crab, seafood, cheese, scallion, I believe, and even bacon. So for all you bacon lovers, this is the one. And we also got a fish and chips. This one came with curly fries. Your favorite. <laughs> I was like, this is curly fries. We didn't even know. So let's try it. Let's dig in. And then, so. Okay, this is all you need. Bars. This is loaded for sure. Oh. All the seafood. I'm just picking out all the crumbs. Okay, this chunk right here, I think it's like a octopus like, or something. Okay, let's try the bread. I'm two weeks old with the body. The day after mm. her 21st birthday, we had a... I typically don't like sourdough as much, but this is pretty good sourdough. Let's put some we, uh, chowder on it. She's, she's crying 
saying I'm too young to be an MC dancer, I go with skin dancer. Mm. This well, is a just beautiful a break bite. to the grandkids. So we, we were... A mouthful of chowder, seafood. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. It's fresh. Try it with the bread. Mm. Nasar's right. That is the perfect bite. Delicious. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and try the fish and chip. This one is the three fish with fry combo. We'll sprinkle on our... I'm gonna try this with my tata sauce. Tata. Thank you, you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can of lemon. My tata sauce. Beautiful fish. Of fish. So I love it. The fish is very crunchy. Like the batter is not too battery. <laughs> it's just coated perfectly. Cheers. Ta ta. Slow County. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> so we're exploring slow and we needed a coffee break for our little mini trip exploring around. So we're here at Scout's Coffee. I got a vanilla bean bar. Let's try it. Ta-ta. Ooh. Ooh, part two. I love cute cafes. This one reminds me of my school, my old school, my alumni. Um, it just makes me feel very cute. Yeah, I want to like study here. Get one. It's my flower. It's a flower. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> It's very hot in there, so um, come prepared. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that hot inside. So let's go ahead and try out this wonderful tri-tip sandwich. I'll show you. Like so this is our tri-tip sandwich. Look at the layers on layers on layers and layers and layers. Beautiful. With a pleasant barbecue taste to it. Sweet, tangy, meaty. 
Harvey. Yummy. Can I try? I've had some tri tips before where the meat is just very dry. This one is very tender. Every layer, super juicy and tender. Hmm? Oh. The bread roll is also very sweet too. It complements with the um, barbecue sauce. I give it an 8.5. I haven't had too many tri tips sandwiches to like compare it and give it a high score, but very, very high for me right now. Very juicy and tender. Oh yeah. No comment. I would give this 10 out of 10. I would give this 10 out of 10. This is so good. It's soft. The bun is sweet. It's buttery. Not too, not dry at all. Mm.